Now, reports suggest that the reactors at the Fukushima plant were damaged by the initial earthquake and not the tsunami wave. Well, given that earthquakes are commonplace in Japan, what does this say about the safety of the rest of Japan's nuclear reactors? Well, I mean, the obvious response is that, is that they should actually all be shut down. I, I think most people believe this. And they also believe that it was very silly to build reactors on, on what, what is clearly a fault line and, and in an area where there are known to be um, uh, earthquakes. Uh, and, uh, and now we see the result of having done that. I mean, this, this is the obvious response. Well, in the wake of these reports, uh, what should happen now, in your opinion, to Japan's network of nuclear facilities? Well, in my opinion, of course, it, they, sh they, sh they should all be put into cold shutdown. I mean, and, and Japan, Japan should ultimately uh, give up nuclear power. In fact, well, as, as you probably know, my opinion is nuclear power itself is an extremely dangerous process, and that you cannot really um, believe that you can cage these things and expect them not to come out, you know, not to have these sorts of accidents, and other accidents will occur in the future. And these accidents are so terrifying, and the consequences of them are so appalling, that really we cannot afford to choose this method of, of, uh, of generating electricity. Of course, you can't stop it just now, because that would bring the whole of Japan to a halt, because it depends so, so much on nuclear power. But then that, 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 that is a problem that has to be faced. Now, in Japan, the government uh, and the plants operator TEPCO have come under heavy criticism from uh, many quarters for the reliability of the information that they've been releasing about this disaster. Do you think that we now know the true extent of this crisis? No, I know that we don't, because I've actually visited there and I've taken uh, quite sophisticated radiation measuring equipment and I've been able to, to satisfy myself that the concentrations of radionuclides on the ground, even as far as 100 and more kilometers away from the plant, are very much higher than they've been saying. And indeed, some measurements that I've been making on air filters from vehicles from as far away as Tokyo show that the concentrations of cesium-137, for example, in these filters is more than 1,000 times higher than, uh, in terms of air concentration than the air concentration at the peak of the weapons fallout in 1963. So we're talking about serious, serious levels of radioactive nuclides. And the problem is that, that, that this is effectively being ignored by, by, by the authorities concentrating on the external dose rate. So they say, so long as the external dose rate is not more than so many microsieverts per hour or whatever it happens to be, everybody's going to be safe. In some sense, they're comparing it with natural background radiation. But actually, it cannot be compared with natural background radiation. The the, the, there's a very, very high level of contamination, even as far south as Tokyo. For example, we found one sample in Tokyo that had levels of radioactivity higher than levels inside the Chernobyl exclusion zone. It's a very serious matter. So, Professor Busby, how serious are these new cracks to the structure of the Fukushima plant? Should we be alarmed? Well, the fact that steam is coming out uh, and, and we know from measurements made in California that the steam contains uh, the isotope sulfur-35. This isotope is associated with neutron irradiation of chlorine. Uh, and so what we've got here is a situation where you've got fission taking place, an enormous neutron concentration, neutron flux, and seawater. Uh, and, 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 and effectively, we're producing very large quantities of radionuclides all the time, and they haven't been able to deal with that. I was told by somebody who, who'd heard this from a TEPCO official who was talking to the Prime Minister of Japan, who said that the releases from the plant are now of the order of 10 to the power 13 becquerels every hour. So we're, we're talking about something that is absolutely ongoing and it's just, it's just being ignored. It's, being, it's, being, it's not being adequately reported by the authorities in Japan or indeed in the Atom International Atomic Energy okay. Agency. Okay, Maureen Times, Professor Christopher Busby, uh, Scientific Secretary of the European Committee on Radiation Risks. Many thanks for speaking to us this evening.